Exit right. Straight on. Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, we're on the way to North Wilkesboro where we'll run the Gander Truck Series and then back to Talladega for the Cup car and the Xfinity car. Last week the Xfinity car was at the iRacing Speedway. I did not run that track, but the, the truck and the Cup car were both at Richmond, a track that I really like running at. So we'll talk about how things went there. Also, another subject, I got my very first protest. Yes, I did. All right, so we'll talk about that. We're just about ready to cross into North Carolina, my home state, in case y'all didn't know. I was born at Cherry Point, North Carolina. Cherry Point is a Marine Air Base in North Carolina. Dad was on the crash crew for many years. He was a 22-year lifer in the Marine Corps. People asked me, did you ever serve Dave? And I said, well, kinda. Remember, when Daddy was on duty, he answered to orders. When Daddy was off duty, he gave orders, and, and I answered them. So, no, I have not served directly, but I did serve under Master Sergeant Charles Whitney. Yes, I did. So let's get right to the juicy stuff. How did I get protested? This actually occurred at Martinsville in the Xfinity Series race. Very early on in the race, after a restart, I just flat got dumped, run over by a car. And under caution, I was just a little ill and came up and just gave him a little rub. Well, that is a protestable offense, and that is what he ultimately turned me in for. He claimed that I dumped him later on in the race, about 100 laps later, but that's just not the case. I simply rolled through the corner uh, a lot better than he did and got into him.
Well, he checked out, then I got into him. That wasn't on purpose. And then I found it very interesting that he jammed on the brakes, which forced us to come to a full stop collision instead of, you know, just uh, rotating the car around and spinning it out or accelerating or whatever. So anyway, yeah, you know what? I was guilty of it, so you know, I think it was kind of a pussy move. But anyway, it's his prerogative and got my first protest. Very interesting about the very first protest letter I had got here. Uh, you know, it said that, you know, there had been an accusation and that they looked at the evidence and they found that the accusation to warrant, you know, uh, confirmation that I violated intentional wrecking. That was it. I mean, no warning, no nothing. It was just kind of, okay, be on your merry way. <laughs> I found that kind of interesting. Okay, on to the Gander Truck Series, UPS Ford F-150 at Richmond. I started mid-pack and uh, had some pretty good runs. I was kind of making the outside line work just a little bit. And for the bulk of the race, I was uh, running in the top 10 8th position, uh, feeling pretty good. There's, there was a little bit of rubbing, a little bit of beating, a little bit of dive bombing, but up until that point, you know, I hadn't gotten turned or anything and was feeling pretty good about the whole race in general. Had a late race caution with about 15 to go, and we restarted with about 12 to go. I had dropped back to just out of the top 10, uh, trying to, you know, protect my stuff and, and save my tires and everything. And up until that point, whoever was the leader, and we had several lead changes, they were going pretty early, which I really like on the short track, so you don't just stack and pack everybody up going into turns one and two. Well, on this last restart, whoever the leader was, and I could not tell you if it was the same guy, but anyway, he packed us all the way down to the green flag, and I even comment, this is not good, this is not going to end well. Along those lines, I mentioned I believe it was in the cup race uh, here at, at Richmond that I made the comment that I was on a Facebook page that was iRacing related, and there was a discussion on there about when the leader is able to go and of course the rule is is once the pace car is off of the track the leader can go anytime he wants and anyway on this Facebook page and I've seen it on the iRacing forums too some of these guys are absolutely fucking clueless they think you have to wait until the green flag flies that's not true he jumped the field some of them have claimed it's like Jesus Christ you can go anytime you want in real life they have the restart zone which we do not have here in iRacing so anyway this current leader with about 12 to go packed us all up until the green flag uh, went out and we made one lap and then coming down the front straight is when the shit hit the fan. God, you stupid son of a bitch! Did you happen to get a look at your temp clear on track right after that caution call? Fucker just, I don't know who that was. I saw it. Saw his underside. Just came hauling ass through. Run over. I mean, well, just, just in the pits. fucking. You got loads. <sighs> Idiot. I had to dive to the left. I can't wait to go back Five, and see this. Four, three, two, one. one. Stop on the side. All right, let's take a look at what uh, what transpired here. What started this mess? Okay, the, oh, the 10 just wiggled a little bit and got into the 1. Man, the 1 does a fantastic job of hanging on to it and not looping it. I come in, I then I just get plowed by the 28. Oh, my gosh. I mean, just ran the fuck over. Down the back stretch, you know, we got stacked up that time. The leader held us. So here we are. We're, we're not seeing the 1. He's, he's working it. He's working it. I've got to come left off the wall. And the 28 just comes in and just bam Ooh, now wait a minute here wait a minute here we might have to back this up one more time 
Okay, there's the 28. I'm gone. I'm up against the wall, gonna move in just a little bit. Oh, he gets tagged by the 25. He gets run over by the 25, and the 28 gets put into me. Here we go, this is the view. Okay, it wasn't the 28, it was the 25. He's the one that came through like a bull in a china shop. Of course, it all went down when the, uh, the 10 got into the one. You know, and, that, and I think that was a product of uh, the leader holding us down. I said, this is not gonna be good, and it was not good. So that pretty much uh, effectively ended my race. I, like I said, I started mid-pack about 12th position. I was running most of the race in the top 10 and the 8th position that uh, wrecked there on the front straight. And I had went several laps down and ended up finishing in 22nd spot. Big hit on the IR, the safety rating, and his poor points payout for the Gander Truck Series at Richmond. All right, moving on to the cup race at Richmond. Uh, started fourth. I was in the second of three splits, and you know, with my low I rating right now, that afforded me uh, that second split high C car. We uh, went for about 20, 25 laps. It was pretty clean, making the outside lane work again. Car felt good, running right up there in the top five. And I, I made an error. Uh, I heard the spotter call out. Uh, inside just at the split second I started by arc down coming out of turn four got a little little tap from the three car and around I came kind of my fault. No caution, so that relegated me back to the back of the field. Then I was working up through the field and I came up on a car and I was going to pass him and down the back stretch just I've been working the wall all day and for some reason or other the car just kind of seam walked right into the wall just a super light hit and then I got into the nine and spun him uh, wrecked myself caused a caution God damn it, what a total fuck. Number nine got ill. He came up and rubbed me under caution. I said sorry, asshole. Just made them in the pits. That'll be a protest. Okay, we'll you know, but then again, remember, I did the same thing. I didn't protest him because ultimately I beat him and I was better than he was. And But he played games all during the whole race, checking me up under cautions, holding me back so I couldn't get into the pits and all that. Just a, just a child, so I let it go. I let it go because I beat him, like I said. So anyway, I was all the way down. I started in fourth. I was all the way down to 22nd and somehow through attrition and cautions and lucky dog and wave arounds, ended up in 12th place. So overall, that wasn't too bad of a showing for the cup car. Uh, again, another little hit here and there on the I rating and the safety rating. Not very good points payout. So, you know, it is what it is. Short track racing and we'll just move on from here. All right, we're here at North Wilkesboro. We're gonna offload the UPS Ford F-150 truck here at a storage facility, and then that will get shuttled over to the track for the race. Then we'll head back to Talladega where the real show is gonna take place. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.